It's a bad day to be a 3D printed spring. Hello, my name is Trevor and welcome to project 11 on my journey to 52 projects in 2025. This week, I tackled the challenge of 3D printing springs through four prototype designs. Some focus on fundamentals, some turned into unexpected failures, and others were just ridiculously fun. At the end of this week, I wrapped all I learned into one final design. Let's jump right in. For our first 3D printed spring, we're simply taking our standard issue spring here and shoving it into CAD. No extra nothing. Helix, circle, whoop, base. That, that's it. Lay it on its side to print and... Oh no. So, <clears throat> I broke the spring before even recording it. Luckily, it snapped higher up so you can still see how it should have worked. Five out of 10, this design was fun while it lasted, but considering it snapped, it's not very good at being a spring. Springing into design two, it's modeled like the first one, except instead of sweeping along a 3D helix, it is swept across a 2D spiral. But during the design process, I was struck with a moment of genius. What if we turn this spring into a catapult? We can add a little divot at the end for launching projectiles. I was so proud of this idea. It's simplistic genius. And then I looked on printables and so many other people have already made and shared similar designs, but I still made mine anyways. 6 out of 10, plus 1 for the original catapult idea, then minus 1 for actually being unoriginal. I still like the design though. It's a good thing I really ended up liking design 4 because design 3 was a failure. It's another 2D spring, a trig function creates a zigzag to be swept along, but it doesn't spring too well, and the bars that are supposed to guide the spring are too small on both the original version and the scaled up design. There's room for improvement, two out of 10. I know there's potential here, but my springs were not designed well. All these designs have all been based off what is practical for typical manufacturing. All these spring shapes are pretty easy for a wire to be bent into, but we're not bending wire. We're 3D printing. Enter this monstrosity. I used another trig function, wrapped it around a cylinder, swept it, and stacked it. I was inspired by a finger trap, but there are actual springs that kind of look like this called a wave spring. Apparently they're supposed to save space. The 3D print was really mesmerizing to watch. I didn't know what to expect since this design wasn't based on a traditional spring and I hadn't learned about wave springs yet, but the final product shows some promise. Neither of the two versions I printed compress as much as a normal spring, but there is a little something there. I think longer waves would help. If you have suggestions for expanding this concept, please share them in the comments. Seven out of 10, printed with no support, unique, and shows promise. I currently live in a desert, specifically the Sonoran, famous for the saguaro cactus, the most cactus of cacti. Now, imagine one of these cacti had a baby with one of those inflatable car wash dudes. That describes our bonus design. I first modeled a simplistic saguaro, done. Now I wanna add a spring here to create some wobble. Although I would have loved to implement our unique fourth spring design, it is still in need of substantial refinement. Neither design three or two are good fits either. So that leaves spring one. The spring on our cactus is thinner than the first one. I printed the model standing up, which created a support nightmare, but the time it took to remove all the support was worth it. I mean, look at this dude. This is one of my all time favorite designs. 10 out of 10, no additional comments needed. I searched for this design on printables and found nothing, plus one for originality. This week, I focused on designing 3D printed springs. The four springs all have room to grow, but we decided to focus on the first design for our final 3D model, creating a bubble saguaro cactus. I really enjoyed focusing on a specific 3D modeling challenge in this video before wrapping it into a simplistic final design. I would love your feedback on this list style of video in the comments and what challenges you think I should tackle next. Resources for this project are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in project 12 of this year, but for now, have a great day and good luck with your own projects.